Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Carly K. Glam, and I am here today to who child give y'all a review for All American. Now I said to myself that when All American Homecoming went off, that I was gonna do better and not be trifling and be late with my reviews, but here I am one week later reviewing episode 16. If it's not 16, y'all, it'll be up there in the title channel. Okay. So, what we're doing is, um, Spencer and Jordan have not gotten the recruits together for GAU football team. And, um, they have this one guy coming to visit. He's supposed to be working out with one of the um, new recruits. One of the new recruits is um, a strength and conditioning coach. And so he's coming to work out with him and comes to find out the dude who turned down GAU's um, scholarship to go to Clearwater State or something, he said. He actually um, came out. And I don't know, I can't remember what he said happened with GAU and why it didn't work out. But he ended up going to another school. Oh, because I think he said a teacher or something at the time had might have come out at um, GAU. And so um, he didn't want all that notoriety on him because he just wanted to be able to live his life and play football. And um, this storyline kind of reminded me of, if you're familiar with the game, I think the game had two episodes like this that happened. They had one guy who um, ended up joining the Sunbeams because he ended up dating somebody on the Sabres. And then the Sabres actually had a football player that um, ended up coming out. Um, the episode probably now would be considered toxic because of the jokes that were made on there. But the storyline was somewhat, somewhat similar and it kind of reminded me of um, Spencer talking to the guy. But um, yeah, Spencer ended up talking to his name. I can't remember his name. But um, he ended up talking to him, and they were, I think this was around spring break, because um, Spencer did say that they were leading, the students were leading the practices because Coach Kenny was out recruiting. So things seem to be well. Um, what else is going on? I'm going to do live last. I'm going to do Patience and Layla because it seems like their storyline is kind of wrapped up in one. Um, there was no Asher this episode, no Coop, no JJ. Um, we still have not had the conversation yet between Spencer and Olivia. And we were supposed to get that probably five episodes ago. That's probably going to be like the last thing that happens during the season, honestly their conversation and the um that girl patience finding out about that girl putting that spiral on her phone so patience is still um not liking her new image which um the solution that they chose was um i guess part of the solution i felt for patience you know like patience doesn't like her new image and she feels like she's changed so much and that she's encouraging people to change if, if they don't like themselves versus just embracing their truth. And um, Patience said that when she went to that Kinsieta on the last episode, and they were so happy to hear her music when she was just playing her guitar, she said she wanted to get back to that. And I thought that now, since Patience already had her rollout, she could just do what all the other artists do now the artists put out a version of the song and then they end up putting out an acoustic version so she could do both she could have did both she could have still gave that new spicy image and then she could have gave she still could have gave the acoustic but um she ended up going to layla telling her that she wanted to do the acoustic vibe and layla had already known or you know kind of could see that patience was uncomfortable Oh, excuse me. With her new image. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know where that came from. Patience is still... She saw that Patience was still unhappy with her new image. And so, um... She ended up telling Patience that it was okay. That she felt, you know, the whole acoustic thing. And that everything still sounded good. But, the trifling part was that... 
um, Coop's girlfriend ended up kissing Paisage, which came totally out of nowhere because um, Patience, Patience was not expecting it. And Patience had got cool with the girl. She even hired the girl to be her social media manager, which was okay, you know. It was no big deal about, you know, her being her social media manager. But it's just the fact that, like, Patience and Cooper are now cool. And so now with um, her kissing her, it's just, and that's going to get out. Because that girl downloaded the whole thing on her spot, on her spiral phone. Which, again, like, the storyline that they're taking... I'm not mad at the whole stalker storyline situation going on, but it's just the fact that, like, now the girl is all on Patience's phone. She know Patience every move. I just want, I'm ready to see how the storyline is going to play out. So, um, I'm patient. I'm being patient because at first I didn't like the storyline that they chose for Patience. Um, I didn't like where it was going because I'm just like, y'all not utilizing patience the way y'all could, like, especially with this whole artist storyline. But um, if they allow us to start seeing some patience perform for people more or, you know, having a new song, really give patience this whole empire thing. I mean, we need a drip, drop, drip, drip, drop single from patience, you know, something that the audience is going to start learning the words to, even though the song is not really for no real use. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would be... I think that would be best. But I'm ready to see what's going to happen with the storyline about this whole deranged fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, Grace is cleaning out Spencer's room because she wants a craft room. But Spencer is giving her some kind of hold back about it because he's saying this is my room this is my home where i'm gonna come when i want to come home and then grace was like well you live at the beach house and i think there's just something you know like um all you know young adults go through when they're transitioning into being a their their own individual but still you know ain't ready to leave their mama or ready to leave you know their their home or what they're comfortable with because i know for a fact like my room at my mom's house is now my daddy's, um, I ain't gonna say it's his man cave, but he definitely done put all his clothes in my closet. Like, he done, he done expanded his territory in the house, okay? Um, but I just think there's something, you know, that happens, but, um, I don't know if Grace is exactly comfortable with being around Alicia. So, I think she's just managing for now, but she ends up telling Alicia that um she asked them she asked alicia what time is her and spencer gonna get to the banquet and alicia didn't know anything about the banquet so i think that spencer is kind of in limbo because i feel like out of circumstance spencer is still in a relationship with alicia and so spencer don't want to be with alicia no more well i ain't gonna say spencer don't want to be with alicia no more but it's just the fact that like Liv has now you know confessed her feelings for spencer and so, Alicia ends up telling Spencer that they're going to the ceremony, even though Spencer said it was our date night. I don't know if he was going to go or whatever. But, Alicia ends up revealing to Spencer that Olivia said that um, it, Olivia is the reason why Alicia and Spencer are still together. Because after Alicia left Spencer, or she was going to take a break from Spencer... She said that she um, was thankful to her and that they need to go to show support of her because, you know, it's part of the Vortex and the Vortex support each other. And I'm just like, they are really, 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 really dragging this Vortex um, situation out. Like, it's really not that deep. It's really not. <laughs> and so... um what I think is that, um, what I think that is that they just don't know what they want to do or they're trying to figure out something to do and move forward. But, um, the whole Vortex thing, mm, they don't really got to be, 
making that a thing now because i know they even use it like with patience with the name of her album me and into the vortex which i ain't gonna hold you i felt like it was kind of fire because that was just an inside thing between them but now it's like they keep bringing it back up and like jamie even said something which was whack and now alicia is saying something um did y'all peep that jordan had bought him and live matching pants for the dance um the dance practice or whatever i thought that was just so cute i like these moments of bonding between Liv and jordan because it was not given twins like for example blackish had a set of twins jack and diane if y'all um are familiar with blackish and jack and diane had that whole twin thing going on even with them getting older they were still giving on-screen twins like live in jordan for the longest time if like you just started watching all american in the middle of you know what is what it is now and not watching it from the beginning you probably wouldn't just thought that live in, in jordan or brother and sister and not twins but it was it ain't been giving twin vibes lately and i'm here for it i wish they would do more things but they spend more time together because i love their little on screen their little on screen twin body moments i think it's cute um also um, Jordan knows that Liv has been stressed. She's been stressed about this whole award, which is Jaden Davis thing. She's she's been nominated for the award for um her publication. And so um he's trying to get her mind off of it. And he was like, you know, dance used to be your thing. And you know, throughout All Americans time, Liv being featured in dance or mentioning dance has been a thing. So I'm not mad if they start incorporating her going to dance classes or you know making friends at dance class or you know even her you know being involved you know joining dance joining the dance team at school or something like that not majoring in dance like you should because we don't need no more dance major storylines but you know just you know as a little hobby or whatever he also mentioned um her freedom with her doing what is it live talks live speaks I can't remember the name of her podcast at the time, but Jordan did also mention that. And so I think that Liv should get back to doing that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her writing articles, but if she going to do this whole article podcast situation, it definitely need to be on like some Jamel Hill type junk, like where she write an article and then she going into detail on her podcast about it and not like the article that she did where she was spraying everybody because... Liv made that big deal about not wanting to put nobody on blast, not wanting to wreck nobody's career. She just did all of this for this article, and now that the article is over, I'm just like, what happened to the story? So now she went into publication for the award. She decides in her dad's honor, because that's the last thing they did together, that she wants to accept the award as Olivia Baker and not Jaden Davis, her whole alias. And so... um. She was just like freaking out about the whole thing. And um Spencer and Alicia did end up coming to um to support her. Also, Layla, you know, restructured her plan so she could be there with Jordan and, you know, to support Olivia. Um and um Liv ended up giving a heartfelt speech. You know, I feel like on screen. This is another thing with Liv's storyline. I feel like on screen, Liv is the only one right now who has a constant storyline of showing her grief over her father. And nobody else does. I feel like everybody had their episode. But I feel like it's made the most impact on Liv's storyline. And moving forward, we have not seen outside of the few mentions of Jordan, you know, being there. I don't feel like... You know, I would like to hear Jordan or see how moving forward or if there's little sudden reminders that, you know, Jordan has. Like Liv said, something that dance teacher said to her sparked something that her daddy would always say and she had to run out because, you know, it was just, you know, she had a moment. You know, I don't, we don't really see Jordan have too many more of those moments on screen. I would also like to see how um, Laura is moving forward, which, you know, the season's not over with, but we still have, like, I think maybe 
three or four more episodes before the season is over. So yeah. Um also with Layla. Layla, um she just got caught up. She's trying to balance all of this stuff going on with trying to start her music label and she changed the name to Full Monica Keating Records and you know trying to create her own path but still living her father's legacy. Um, I felt like they could have done more with the whole label storyline as well because now we went from having two artists to Patience only being the one artist. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like they, I feel like stuff could have been done more with Layla in this business. It's not giving Empire Records or Lions Gate or whatever it was on Empire when Cookie created her own label. What else? Is there anything else I'm missing? Y'all, there's so much going on with All American. And the season is rounded out. And I'm not, I, at this point, I don't know like where things are going. Like I'm not seeing like, maybe it was filler episode. Maybe this was kind of like a filler episode. Cause we, you know, well, I guess right now the main focus with Spencer is the rebuilding of the team. So, which I feel like we back in the football bag. Cause for a minute I was just like, where is football? What is going on? But you know, we getting ready. So I guess when, all American come back on in the fall. It's gonna be football season again, and you know they're gonna be back playing and stuff. So I'm ready to see what's gonna happen with the team. And Olivia says she's gonna get back to getting on campus and being a student, and which we the audience want because, like, girl, you've been going to school the whole year. We ain't seen you do nothing. Like she said, she don't even know what a commissary is, and that's crying shame. Cause what have you been doing your whole school year? Which, you know, I truly do feel like the first two years, if you don't have to, if you don't have the luxury of not working, you know, enjoy your first two years of college. Then you can do all that work and stuff and setting up your life and your junior and senior year. I mean, it's not wrong being ahead of the game, but, you know, she didn't even get a chance to enjoy, like, her life. You know, get used to the school, make friends. I don't even think Liv got no... That's just bad grammar. I don't think Liv has a um, friend at school. So, you know. I'm ready to see what that was going to look like. So, yeah, y'all. I think that's all for all American. Hope I'm not missing anything. I think I nailed everybody. We talked about a craft room. We talked about Spencer and the team with the teammates. Um... We talked about Jordan and Liv. We talked about the banquet. We talked about Alicia. <sighs> mm. I don't know what they're going to do with Alicia by the end of the season. I don't know. Spencer and Alicia don't really have no moments on screen now that they go together. So, mm. we'll see y'all. I'm going to be back with the next episode because I got to do um, yesterday's episode. And so stay tuned. I'll have that up. Hopefully I have both of these up um, tomorrow. I mean today. Mm, today. Hopefully I have both of these videos edited and up today. If not, this one will be up today. And then the one from yesterday will be up tomorrow. So yeah, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my last um, review on the finale of Bel Air. And check out my um, All American Rewatch Netflix whatever and follow me on instagram um curly k jewels and follow me on tiktok curly k 919 and i'll be back with more videos deuces